Hi, Tony here again. I said I was going to do another video and uh, I've been experimenting with some screen capture software so uh, I'm going to give it another go today. Hopefully it will turn out okay. So what you see here is a collection of clocks that I've been working on as a sort of uh, a run-on from a project that I was doing with a, f a few people on the forum for some um, for a clock that synced with X-Plane uh, in version uh, 213. So we've moved on to Air Manager version 3 now with these clocks and uh, this is just a, a representation of some of the things that I've been working on with a, uh, a clock and timer library that uh, I've been uh, generating uh, as part of the work to uh, make these gauges. So let's go ahead and power up. You can see these clocks run through a, a test mode and then um, power up into uh, the state that you see them uh, now, so what we have here then is a collection of uh, different clocks from different manufacturers, um, all with uh, slightly different uh, displays and options. Um, some of them are just, uh, there's not actually this many uh, clocks in the collection, but some of these things, for instance, this one at the bottom here is just one instrument, uh, just with uh, different user properties applied um, to give different display options. So it's actually just an M800 uh, clock here. You can see slightly different uh, bezel uh, options here, different uh, options of display, and obviously the obvious difference is the, the, the backlit color. Um, and the illuminated uh, buttons that you can see here. So a lot of these clocks have got um, user properties that you can set for different features, whether that be display options or um, things that are uh, a little bit, little more hidden in the background, such as the syncing with X-Plane and um, 12 or 24 hour type options. So while we've got the uh, clocks all up here on a the display there, um, one of the common features um, that uh, is um, perhaps good to show uh, with them all together here is the dimming um, capabilities. So we, what we can do is we can dim the instrument dimmer now in the sim here and you can see that the displays are dimming down quite nicely there to uh, quite a dark. And so the backlit panels here um, lose their backlit and, and uh, revert to their uh, default state here and these uh, other sort of LED and LCD based ones are just a very dim version. Um, of the full brightness and so we can wind the brightness back up again so you can stop at any point there and and set the dim level um, or there's a feature in the user properties to just uh, revert back to the day night setting so once the sim um, decides that it's night time um, these lights can be just be switched on automatically so without the progressive uh, dimming level so we're going to move on to actually showing the individual um, clocks now and we'll talk about each one in a little bit more detail.